Alright guys, I'm the Nightwing here, coming at you guys with another prediction video. I haven't did one of these in a while, and I was kind of sleeping on Fungfu Buffalo, you know. I was just thinking to myself yesterday that Fungfu Buffalo have world-class mid laner, world-class jungler, world-class top laner, and definitely a better bot lane than SKT. So, Fungfu Buffalo, going to win MSI, carry the world, and they will destroy Korea's dreams at this event. Not gonna happen. Uh, aside from joking like I just did, I'm really not seeing it from this team. What I saw was a lot of best of one games from them and Group A, and they played a tiebreaker game against 1907 Fenerbahce, in which they realistically should have lost that game based off of how 1907 Fenerbahce uh failed at pushing any advantage that ruin i think ruin was one of the best players in the playing stage at the group stage event and it was actually kind of bittersweet that fangu buffalo actually won because you really felt like 1907 fenerbahce uh really you know should have came out with the victory on that so fangu buffalo you know their their real strengths are in zeros and uh null I feel like Nall is a pretty decent player, all things considered. I feel like Zeros is their star player of the roster. You know how some teams that have done really well in the past have only needed like one superstar. You know, that has kind of traditionally kind of been up in the air, you know, some, some years. Some teams need more, some teams need less. But looking at from everything I've saw out of Group A, which was supposed to be the group of death from the playing stage, I just don't think it lived up to the hype that it was. I know this article uh, is saying that, but that's reading an, uh, about about games versus um, actually watching them. And yes, if you looked at some of the games that were stomps, I mean, yeah, it looks good, but it looks good when certain teams haven't warmed up. You know, when some of these events start, people have to understand, like, you know, you, you're getting accustomed to a new stage, you know, playing in front of people again, these teams who've won their regions haven't necessarily played, you know, on an actual stage match in, like, almost a month. So, getting adjusted to that is something different. And what's so different about the wildcard tournaments that, well, that, that are kind of placed in these uh, playing stages is that these teams get, what, uh, four games, possibly, at most, to get out of the group and face the other competition because Fangfu Buffalo, 1907, Mega Squadron, the uh, teams from the other group, you know... They only get this one shot, and obviously there could only be one winner, so there's even more pressure on them to perform. Not only is there more pressure on them, you just imagine the pressure for Fangfu Buffalo because they're even in a more pressure, pressure situation because they're playing in Vietnam, their hometown. I, I don't think that they realistically have what it takes to really take down Team Liquid if I'm looking at all of the team's strengths and weaknesses. You know, from what I saw in these games, since, well, their league doesn't have an English broadcast, is that they're just, like, it feels like it's more of like their region not challenging them, challenging them specifically, than them being good. Which, you can't really say for TL, outside of, like, the first round Robin uh, in North America, because TSM and Cloud9 were definitely almost challenging them tsm actually 2-0 liquid during the regular split and had a 2-0 lead up against them in the final so you have basically just null and zeros i feel like if zeros doesn't get you know ahead in his lane based off the what the jungler has shown who and he's been, and he's looked rather okay at best i'm i'm just not seeing it their bot lane uh, got blasted at at certain points. Yeah, I mean they they didn't get blasted in the games they were winning, but they weren't winning the game because of their bot lane. They won the they won the game because their top side carried them. Like let's be real, let's, uh, come on, let's be honest here. And I think that with TL, it's gonna be a clear clear stylistic mismatch. Like all they have to do realistically to beat them, and this is just me being as honest as I can be, is that all they have to do is hold off the top laner, have Impact play a safe tank champion. Impact doesn't even have to carry the series. They just let the just let the other guys do it. You don't need to. The, the, and if Fongu Buffalo lose, they get another shot anyway, because if they lose to TL, they face the loser 
of the Flash Wolves and uh, that series. Uh, whoever whoever takes on the loser of the Flash Wolves series, whoever they're going to be facing after tomorrow, after basically tonight or tomorrow's games when that group concludes. So you got all of this loading in, and I'm just not seeing it. But but but. You have to factor in. I want to make. Sh I want to kind of make this clear. Playing in best of ones is completely opposite than playing in best of fives. I, I I really don't understand why certain people just don't understand that. You're because you you're taking your results base from one game and then taking results base from potentially four games. Uh, taking results from four games rather than taking them from one game in one specific, you know, composition, one specific way to win the game doesn't really make all the, a whole lot of sense. But the difference with this set, with best of ones compared to best of fives, is that you do get to see multiple games, and that is where you can kind of tell if your team is flexible, whether they can play multiple picks, whether they prioritize jungle, jungle mid, or, or top and jungle, or they prioritize the bot lane, what kind of lanes they prioritize, what type of objective control they're actually prioritizing i'm just not seeing it with them like i've only seen them for the tiebreaker games and they lost to the, the worst team in the plans the bombers they were bad they were bad bad like vietnam i feel like they're good but i do feel like from what fungu buffalo has shown but i do feel like it, it's a case of them not being challenged in the region and then when they're actually challenged you start to see some of their weaknesses and I just don't think that they have what it takes right now to beat TL. From what I've seen out of them and what I've seen out of TL. Yeah, you could probably say, could Fumpu Buffalo get a 2-0 lead against TL? That would probably be because, you know, you know you're know, you playing up. Uh, uh, Fumpu Buffalo basically would have more to prove. But I but I wouldn't doubt they would come away with, with a 2-0 lead against Liquid. Like, if that's a possibility, I, I I could see that. I could see them them playing good on the day. I just don't think it's going to be enough. And if I'm making a realistic present a realistic prediction based on what I've seen, TL is going to probably 3-1 them. I'll give them a game. They'll probably win a game. They'll probably win game one. Give everybody hope. Mm, well, TL will probably smash them. The stronger bot laner. Stronger mid laner. Stronger jungler. Stronger support. Like, it, it's a, it's a cool. This is like... This is like a first place team facing like a sixth place team. Like, it, there's a clear difference there, you know. But, you know, it's not to, you know, rag on them. I, I just didn't see a whole lot of competitiveness out of them in their in their series of games that they played. Now, the one instance where I could say TL lose, TL needs to shore up their slow play style. And this, will, this series will show if they can shore up their slow play style. If they can shore that up, then... They're good because that was mostly a lot of the criticism, and they have slightly weaker players in, in certain positions than the other major region teams. But overall, uh, just want to kind of check out what some, some some of this was saying at toward the at least the very end. Uh, so Fumble Ball Buffalo is de definitely ready to uh, meet up against TL, and I think I'm gonna check out one more thing before I uh, end the video. Oh, Vega Squadron dominate Group B. Then, okay, so it, it was the team with Chie and Audi that was the other team from the LLAN, something like that, right? And, and their group, yeah. Their group, group of death, it, it, it wasn't, I mean, yeah, it kind of was in terms of, like, you actually knew who was stronger. I feel like Ruin was a really good player in the play-ins. He, he played absolutely phenomenal, and it just feels bittersweet that it, it couldn't have been 1907 versus Team Liquid because I feel like that would have been better, actually. But... That's it. I'm predicting TL 3-1. Um, I think if you watch these games, you would most likely agree with that. But, you know, obviously things can ha happen differently on the day. Fangu Buffalo might overperform and 3-0 Team Liquid. It's very possible. But that's it. See you guys later. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Most of all, enjoy. I'm the Nightwing signing out with Insight for Nerds. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Have a good day.